Despite John, Finn, Finnegan's doubts and Ridge Forrester's insistence on Deacon facing reality, Deacon remains steadfast in his belief that Sheila Carter is alive. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on CBS The Bold and the Beautiful. Deacon may choose to share updates on the peculiarities surrounding the ten-toed corpse with Hope Logan, but whether she'll lend credence to her father's assertions remains uncertain. Nevertheless, Deacon takes matters into his own hands, delving deeper into the mystery of Sheila's survival. He initiates inquiries with morgue personnel and delves into post-mortem reports in pursuit of answers. Meanwhile, Steffi Forrester reacts to Finn's revelation about Deacon's theory, prompting her to contemplate the possibility of Sheila's continued existence. While part of Steffi may prefer to dismiss Deacon's claims as refusal to move on, another part acknowledges Sheila's history of resurfacing. Steffi finds herself torn between hoping to put the Sheila saga behind her after the memorial and grappling with the frustration of a potential resurgence of Sheila-related chaos. In other B&B developments, Carter Walton steps into the role of a love advisor when Zende Forrester Dominguez confides in him about his deep feelings for Luna Nazawa. While Zende may not disclose the specifics of the special mint incident or Luna's hallucination in his bed, he does open up about the intensity of his emotions and his jealousy over RJ Forrester winning Luna's affection first. Carter provides guidance, cautioning Zende about the complexities of the situation, especially considering Luna's relationship with his cousin. He emphasizes the potential for complications but acknowledges the unpredictability of matters of the heart. Carter suggests that Zende exercise patience, recognizing that young love doesn't always endure, leaving room for opportunities in the future. Liam Spencer makes a brief visit to drop off a gift for Kelly Spencer. Meanwhile, RJ Forrester inquires about Hope Logan's concerns regarding the fashion line. Luna Nazawa remains resolute in her decision to confess to RJ, intending to disclose the events of the night with Zende Forrester. As they discuss the future of Hope for the future, Hope expresses confidence in RJ, Luna, and Zende's ability to succeed. She addresses the tension between RJ and Zende. RJ acknowledges past tension, particularly concerning Eric Forrester's line, but assures Hope that they have resolved it. He sees the collaboration between Zende and Luna as positive, believing Luna could benefit from working with Zende. However, Luna disagrees and is determined to reveal the truth to RJ before considering collaboration with Zende. Upon Poppy Nazawa's arrival, Luna confides in her mother about her intentions. Poppy pledges to support Luna's decision and refrain from pressuring her to remain silent. Luna acknowledges the potential impact on Zende and RJ's relationship but remains burdened by the secret. Zende agrees that Luna should disclose the truth to RJ. Meanwhile, Steffi expresses dissatisfaction with Finn's choice to attend the memorial but finds solace in closure. Liam questions Finn's absence from his family during the memorial, finding it peculiar. Finn, distraught, meets with Deacon, prompting Liam's confusion over Deacon's belief in Sheila's survival. Steffi believes Finn's sincerity in moving past the Sheila ordeal, sharing Detective Baker's news with Liam. They discuss their parental roles, with Liam expressing uncertainty about his past decisions between Hope and Steffi. Despite his wavering, Liam emphasizes his commitment to being a good father, earning Steffi's praise. Finn grapples with Deacon's insistence on Sheila's survival, who claims to have seen Sheila's face and noticed ten toes on the cremated body. Finn attempts to rationalize Deacon's perception as common in grief, but Deacon remains convinced of what he saw, challenging Finn's certainty about Sheila's death. Stay tuned, like and share our video to get the latest updates and spoilers on soap opera.